And we will start our video. Only one person, two people. I'm one. Oh, okay. Two. Hello. Hi, it's Debbie and Laura with our crocheting crafts. Um, I don't know. What? We're uh, here today to show you all that we've made. I mean, we put... Just, what are you doing, Joy? <laughs> Put Laura you know. joined our own broadcast. <laughs> That's Laura right there. My mistress, mistress there. there. Lord have mercy. Uh, things that we've showed on Instagram and and for me, Facebook too. So Yeah. Alright, so we're also videoing for YouTube. How come that's showing me? Lost connect you lost connection. I know, but do you see what it's showing me? The table. Yeah. Huh. Oh, Maybe okay, there it is. That's probably why We're this good. thing keeps it. Okay, well, don't have it on. You're going to hear us. See? She joins our broadcast. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so like I said, Debbie and Laura, I'm Debbie. This is Laura. She's my sister. And this is our crochet and crafts. And you want to go first? Sure, because you have more. Okay. Okay, these are all things that I have put on our inst my Instagram account and, and I post on my Facebook. Oh, yeah. So, Instagram, we're both on Instagram. I am Debbie underscore Y and she's Mistress Dare mm -hmm. on Instagram. Exactly. Okay, first of all, my son comes to me yesterday who I have asked numerous times, you want me to make you anything? No, no. Well, he goes over to Debbie's house and he sees the coaster she made for her son. Yeah, it was a Pokeball from right. Pokemon. I made him a Pokeball. I should have brought it. I yeah, didn't bring it. Oh, wow. Next time. So she decided, he did comes home and he says, Hey, Mom, can you make me a poster? So I said, a Sure. Coaster. A coaster. Hey. Hi, Yarn Guru. Yarn Guru? Yeah. Yarn Hello. Guru. <laughs> Hi. And so. I said, yes, yeah, so I, I said, go down and choose what colors you want. So he went down and chose, and he just wanted it blue with a black border. But, you know, knowing me, I had to do something different. So, there you go. this is what I did for him. Now, I didn't do the Goblin stitch. I did the mosaic stitch. Is that what, make it yep. closer. Make it go close. There you go. On both the black and the blue, but the black is a little bigger. Yeah. Of the mosaic. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, I can see it right there. Okay, and that's, that's for you too. We don't want to forget you on the yeah, on our YouTube, YouTube video. <laughs> so I did that for him, and he really so liked yeah, it. Yeah, that's a nice coaster, and it's doubled. She's got a so you don't see the stitching. So there you go. That's a nice coaster. I like that. Yeah, he said up till that he was using a paper towel for his teacup. He mm -hmm. loves to drink tea, hot tea. Hot, hot tea? Hot tea. Oh, I didn't I thought it was iced tea. Nope, it's hot. Okay. So, there's that. And then, of course, I showed you my, the box I decided I was going to make for my grandson. He loves his cars. So I went and I made one. I did the name kind of upside down with the, you know, the handle. Uh, well, but it's all right. Yeah. Because when it's down, you're looking at it the normal way. You know, you also need to put an apostrophe. Apostrophe, I know, but yeah. I can't figure out how really how. Well, yeah, just I take just a piece of right white. There. Just take a piece of the white and just go over. Yeah. So but we got. That. We only have one person. And that would be everybody me. must be busy. Yep. Is that you? Yep, that's me. Really? Yep. <laughs> We're talking to ourselves? Yep, we're talking. Oh, I'm, I'm well. liking my own stuff. Oh, well. That's uh, Asher's car. So with his, I did something a little different. I don't know if you could see. But I did it two layer. Oh, okay. Oh, is that attached? Yep. Huh. Very Asher's good. Car. There's a little one coming out, too. Yeah, we'll put it back down. Now, I put buttons on the side, like little wheels. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like a like a road, right? Yeah. And I put buttons on the inside to kind of try to help to hold up the centerpiece, which it does. And I did that because the things that I double stitched. You see how I did double plastic, so you don't so the to shoot, see the stitching. I did it on the inside on half of it, where the white 
is. Mm -hmm. That's the half of the extra plastic because I thought that would help give it a, like a little stand to sit on them, but it didn't work. So I put the two buttons in on the inside too. That's a to good idea, it. Laura. That, that, that's a good idea. Did you, did you see the button? There's a button in there on that side and it kind of holds the, the mm. flap from going all the way down. All right, and he can do two layers of his cars because he really loves his cars. Yeah, that's a good idea. And you know what they say about first time for everything. You know, you make some mistakes on the first one. Yeah. But, and he likes there it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very nice. It's kind of hard with the buttons. I guess I must uh, do the buttons a little too tight. <laughs> well, you do go a little overboard with the glue, but... I didn't glue the button and sewed it in. Oh, well, that's all but right. I, must, I, do, I think I do it too tight because oh, it makes well. it hard to wrap the, the elastic around it. Oh, well, you'll know next time. But, yeah, so there we go. She had to put a little apostrophe or anything. Yep. Oh, put it up there. Yep, and there's there that go. one. Then, of course, I made myself another cigarette case, and I did mosaic stitching mm -hmm. with this one too, which it makes it thicker. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a little bit more sturdier. Mm -hmm. Because, um, and I still haven't done it, but Debbie gave me an idea. I'm going to spray hairspray on here to keep the yarn from fraying. Yeah. So I'm going to be stealing my mom's hairspray to do that. Well, you know, I'm not sure if that will work well it might work but I'm not sure like what will happen or because I've never never done anything like that before I just had an idea it, you know. yeah there you go. but That's it starts pretty. fraying you know after continuous use yeah it starts fuzzing up and everything <clears throat> and then one more I made this for our great nephew Anthony for his Legos he uh, comes to the campground with his grandma, and he sees our you know, all the stuff we do, and he says he likes coming to our trailer because our porch, what did he call it, is the craft room. Yeah, the craft room. So. I taught him how to uh, plastic canvas, mm -hmm. and he really liked that. Yeah. And this one I put the handle differently than I did the first one. Oh. And you got to do another apostrophe there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the other one, I just left the, you know, like where you could tell I sewed in the button and stuff. But this one, I did little squares in the same colors I was using. And I put where you could, so you wouldn't see where I sewed in anything. Yeah. And I did the same thing for where the, like the elastic yeah. and, and the where strap. I did the handles, the handle. But I did make it double here because this is his Legos. So Legos can just pile in there. Mm -hmm. Which made it a lot easier. That's very nice. And Karen showed it to him on, uh, in, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And he says, that's for me? She said, yes, you see your name? He said, oh, she can make anything. <laughs> so he really liked it. Yeah. He can't wait to get it. Oh, that's nice. I like that. <clears throat> and I did... Goblin stitch, but I made it a little bigger on the two here, and I did two of the same thing with the two different the gold and the light green. This is green frost, mm -hmm. but this right here is a mosaic stitch. Oh, right in the middle there, yeah, yeah, you can see, see that right there. And I did that on the reverse side. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but on this one here, it's a little bigger. I actually made that gold bigger. So I carried uh, it through onto this side and I made that gold bigger. Oh, well, he, that's all right. I didn't even notice. I, I think because I was trying to work my way through these letterings. Oh, yeah. The letters. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I kind of messed up and made the gold a little bigger. Oh, uh, okay. And it stopped. Ah. Restart. Or report. Oh. I guess well, Periscope is out. No, we're going to start it again. What's the matter with my phone? There we go. Maybe we'll get more people on here instead of just you. <laughs> <laughs> Laura and 
Debbie, Debbie and Laura part two. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Debbie and Laura. Oops, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, but only Laura's capitalized, Debbie's not. Okay. No, it does it anyway. Art. Two. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have to turn it around again. Turn it around. There we go. We're right, back sorry, again. We're back. Oh, hi. Hi. What is that, Alan B? Yeah. Hello. Hi, Alan B. <laughs> Laura's showing her Lego box she made for our great nephew. And what I was saying was about this, this goal being a little bigger was because I was working my way around the letters and I didn't realize until it was done I was like oh no I did the gold a little better which worked out anyway yeah and made all you know I could do two of each yeah because of it you can't really tell until you pointed it out right and yeah. the mosaic stitch in the center yeah. lift it up for the camera because we're also videoing again you know with my camera so we can put this on YouTube and you know continue the one on this side yeah Thank you. Hello. Um, thank you again. Okay. Well, mine's done. I showed you, you know, in the other one. Well, since you're just joining, this is my Asher box. Hello. There's cars. Oh, you got a piece of hair on there. Do I? Oh, it went away. Huh. I see. I, oh, thank you. And cigarette box. Hello. <laughs> well, now we got five people on. Hi, Nis Nisim. Nisim and the coaster. Oh, yeah, we got four. Well, they didn't like the coaster. <laughs> Debbie's going to show you her parts. stuff now. Oh, okay. Um, Hi, LaRue. Oh, hello. All right, well, I'm still working on my three-round clothes grannies. It's all my scrap yarns. Still working on those for the blanket I'm making. Laura. Laura I joined, joined us again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have solid colors. Solid colors. I have two colors. And I have variegated. And I've shown those in my other video. My blanket in my other videos. It's doing it again. Now oh, we're kicked out again. Alright. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but... And it really, it turns my phone off, too. Right. Turn it back on. Here we are. Last time we didn't have any problem. Right. Probably two. What the hell was that? <laughs> if that's what it did. <laughs> Corrected a minute. <laughs> That's not funny, Laura. <laughs> but this is gonna be Debbie and Laura probably. <laughs> Laura, it ain't that funny. Oh, I tell you. Oh Lord. Oh, I'll spell out part. Part three. <laughs> oh, part forty-three. No, part three. <laughs> Hopefully we don't. It doesn't take four or three shots. <laughs> oh, that's us again. All right, we're back again. Yeah, Periscope kicked us out again. It doesn't so, like us. Yeah. Today. All right. So, I showed my little squares, and also I made another pill bottle cover. Let's see, it's a big pill bottle. And I made a plastic canvas cover for it. Hi again. Hi again. <laughs> we keep getting kicked out. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Periscope don't like us today. But, yep, so I made that. And it will be in my bag, my craft bag, with, um, you know, buttons and stuff. So I did that. And also, there's some stuff up here. I have an innovation. Silver Star Pit Prieto. Prieto. I have a innovation uh, knitting machine 
and I wanted to make a hat. Um, this did not come out like Every like day you make hat. a slouchy hat. Yeah, it, it came out like a slouchy hat, and I don't like that. So I made it into a preemie size Hello again. baby cocoon. And that's for the guardian grandmas. And you can see my little card that I attached to this, the donations. It's the, gar the guardian grandmas. There you go. And up here. Because like we said before, we're also videoing this to put on YouTube. You have one of those knitting machines? I like them. Mine does, I have one needle on my knitting machine. It's the Innovations one. I have one needle. And um, it keeps getting... Thank you. It'll like snag the stitch the wrong way. So I just have, I mark that, that needle and I keep an eye on it. And if it starts to snag the stitch the wrong way then I'll fix it and so I, I'm able to, to do this yeah but I like it too a lot of people don't because those you know needles don't go right but I'm lucky I only have one needle that's messed up she said that looks nice oh thank you thank you thank you <laughs> I also made a regular size hat but I think that's a little bit too big too too long but I folded up the edge and I put a button. Try to give a little bit of. Here, let me see. I'll try it on for you. Yeah, try it on because I don't like it. Is it. Does it look alright? Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't look alright on you. Mm -hmm. yeah, she sorry. came back again. She must have got kicked off. I'm sorry. Periscope's really acting up today. It, it kicked us out. Uh, twice already. Yeah, twice already. So we're on part three right now. So this is the hat that she made. Yeah. And I think it's pretty, I mean, it's nice enough to keep your ears covered and your head covered. Yeah. And it's not too tight. I think it would have been perfect on your head. Yeah, no, I don't like it. Roberto. Hi, Roberto. Roberto. That's what I call my son sometimes. Yeah. His name is Robert. Robert. <laughs> okay, and I also made a little baby hat. Um, my daughter is expecting a baby girl at the end of this month. So I made her a little hat, and I also have a flower to go on it, but I haven't put the flower on it yet because I don't know if this hat's too long or not. Who are you waving at? To the camera so they know that we haven't forgotten. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> so when the baby is born, um, if the hat fits her, yeah, see, she got kicked out again. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry, I don't know what's going on with Periscope today. So. Yeah, it's... A lot of people, you know, don't <coughs> like because they get kicked out. But yep. if this is too long, then I will be able to take out a round or two, and then I'll know where to put the flower. So that's why I haven't put the flower on yet. But yep, and this matches the ripple afghan or blanket that I made for her for the baby. It's gray and white ripples with this color pink as the border and Erica's the one that picked those colors so yes for the for my granddaughter to be and what else let's see up here oh my god it's too close <laughs> <laughs> I am working on a scrappy granny square that was nice you're gonna cover up Laura <laughs> I like the yellow right in the center bright yellow yeah well, it's all um, like scrap yarn. Well, the first beginning rounds. Hello. The first beginning rounds are scrap yarns. These, as they get bigger and it takes more yarn, those are not necessarily scraps, but it's yarn that's in my basket that I've already worked from. And, oh, thank you. So this will, if not, if not be a baby blanket, it will be a lapkin for me, for when I watch TV in the evening. But yeah, all different colors, and I don't, I don't know exactly how big, because like I said, I don't know what, you know, what it will be, baby blanket or a lapkin, I don't know. Okay, 
Now, for the yarn that I've got, went to AC Moore and bought two of these. These are the one pound milling bags. And it doesn't tell you, what does it say? What does that say? Factory millings. It doesn't tell you what it is or anything like that, but I can tell that it's acrylic. And I'm also 90% positive that it's from Hobby Lobby, which is their brand of I Love This Yarn. And this one, now I'll open the bag. This one is purples and greens. Hi, Sissy. Hi, Sissy. Purples and greens. It's real pretty colors. And I bought another one. Pretty. Another one pound factory mill in. And these colors are brown. Oh, wait a minute. Where's that paint coming from? There's no paint in here. Oh, it's from the tablecloth. Yeah. But it's browns and greens Hello. and tan. Now, there, there's no paint. I think that's coming from my mom has a red tablecloth on the table. But yes. It, well, yeah, there you go. There's the colors. Yep. So, did you want one of these, Laura? Sure. You know, this okay, is the manly know. color. Yeah. So, I'm going to make boy uh, baby cocoons with this. To probably get two or three of them out of that for a little boy. And then some little boy stuff out of that, too. Oh, I better keep that one because it, it'll all tore up for you. It's crazy, right? All right, you can have that one. And that's a good thing about these. If you you're not going to use all the yarn, you can share it. <laughs> all right, so that's all the yarn I bought. Well, no, actually, I did buy. When I bought those, I bought one of these skeins. It's the Vanna White uh, tapestry. I don't know the um, the color name of it. I should have saved that, but I don't. And I bought another one. They were on sale two for five dollars, the tapestry. And the mill ends, I think it was six ninety nine. Well I bought those two and the two vanas and I had a twenty five percent coupon. So it only cost sixteen dollars for all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's very good. Hello again. What's that? Was is that you? No, that's not you. That's you. Oh, somebody else must be doing uh -huh. it. Oh, okay. Hi, Zabala. Hello. I hope I said that right. All right, so I think that's it for me. I have no that's nothing it. else to, to share here. And of course, you know our mom's over there. Say hi, Ma. Hello. How you doing? Oh, Ma. She's a lot better now. <laughs> yeah. Staples were removed and everything, so she's doing good. Oh, yep. So we will see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. And we will see you next time. Oh yeah, see you next time too. Bye-bye.